This is the Go Maluku Podcast. Was Australia supportive? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, they were uh, several bilats, and I got to give props to the youth, uh, the Pacifica uh, and Aotearoa and Australia youth, actually, that they participated. Uh, the set up all these meetings, I just, I got to witness um, them as sat in for technical advice, uh, uh, for 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 providing technical um, comments if they were they were they were getting any from from the from the uh, the other side of the table, um, it's it's a lot of why and it's like why it is important uh, to for climate for Australia to to engage in climate action to uh, to maintain the keep one point five in sight to reduce uh, f- uh, fossil fuels uh, carbon emission uh, carbon emissions. Um, Lots of why, and I think that that was super important. The only thing that I did was explain how the how and how you explain that into the text. Um, it could have been stronger, though. Uh, um, let me be very frank. Um, we see across the board, Australia has been been supportive um, in Geneva, in New York, when it comes to the rights of Indigenous peoples. When it comes to Indigenous peoples, when it comes to human rights, I will. Yeah, still knowing that we're dealing with with uh, experts on um, uh, environment, climate, uh, but not experts on human rights. I, I think uh, there's still some capacity building required in there. But uh, I think that there's 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 a um, yeah there's a um, uh, yeah I see I see some improvements in there as well. My friends, I hope you enjoyed this. Please consider to subscribe to comment and to share this video on your socials.